All right, what's up, Matascam2488 Neo Hippies? I'm Paige Anderson, and today we are here with the Rolling Verse Lab. I got a question Saturday about the mix down and mastering uh, phase of the machine. They wanted to ask me, well, they asked me if I would do a video or a live video on how to get to the procedure and which procedure goes first. I'm gonna take you through this whole thing so that we'll all know together. Cause after I do this one, I think this, this will be the last one like this and then we're gonna actually go ahead and do a song. Cause at this point, I think you know as much about this machine as I do. All right, so let's get into it. When you turn this machine on, it's gonna be in song mode, all right? you are going to work in sequence mode, all right? Once you have finished all your sequence parts from and all your sections are what you need them to be in sequence mode, you're gonna go to sections, okay? Oh, that's what I do. And even though in sequence mode, you can only work on eight bars at a time, right? Uh, that's why I want I got eight bars on uh, eight bars at a time. But when you're in section, you can take that eight bar, um, that eight bar loop that you worked on. I'm just gonna say loop, and you can stretch it to 16 bars. So if you were singing, or you were thinking about singing there, and there were gonna be no changes, you know, no real changes, no changes, you can just stretch this out to 16 and you have your 16 bars to sing on, all right? Go back to eight, because I didn't do that there. Now, once you've finished putting all that together, you go to song, you hit record, and you know, pop, 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 you create your song, all right? Now that you've created your song, you're gonna go through, you've probably been mixing the whole time, but you're gonna go through and put your finishing touches on. Now, most people will just hit that mixer and start working. But if you notice here, you only get to see low, mid, high there as far as the EQ is concerned. You see the level pan and you can mute it on and off. You can play with the delay and play with the reverb, but you don't see very many other things that you can do. I don't want you touching this button when you're finishing your song. What I want you to do is hit shift and go from track to track. Now look at what's happening here. I have a video on this a live that I did on this, but I want to tell it to you on this one because this is the last one we're gonna do like this. I think this is the last one we're gonna do like this. If I, if I pop up with something else, I will throw it in here. But here, when you're mixing down, you have access to more features. So you do have your track level, you have panning, you have reverb offset and delay offset, you also have an EQ switch that is on, and you have input gain, low gain. You have the frequency. See, now you have access to frequencies, whereas with the mixer, you don't have access to frequencies, so you're just willy-nilly turning up low, mid, and high. Well, here, when you do this, you have access to the actual frequency that you're, you know, adding dbs to and taking dbs away all right then you have your mid gain and of course you have your mid freak you have a q where you can make that frequency wide or you know close it in and then you also have your high gain and the frequency that you're going to be messing with in the high gain now this is where it stops on the mixer right after the reverb stuff it stops well on here now you go here and you can switch on your compressor, right? If you haven't done what I did in the editing, and I'm gonna have real videos up about this stuff, but in editing, I typically go to each note tediously and, uh, <laughs> and make them sound the way I want. But if you haven't done that, you know, you wanna go ahead and add your compressor, you turn it on and then you can choose how you want your effects to happen. You want that effect to be pre or post, right? We'll talk about that as we work. 
and then you have the the actual compressor that you're messing with you have attack release threshold ratio knee and gain all right and these are other things that you can mess with but i i don't have any reason to uh talk about these because i am not doing any of these so now once you have grant once now once you have done everything that you need to do as far as your compressing your leveling and your eq per track except for the vocal track is a little different i don't have a vocal on this song but that probably will be something i come back and do for you all right now once you've done that okay and you've gotten your blend the way you want it now go ahead and hit shift and you're gonna start mastering this go ahead and listen to what you have in your mix okay but this machine is designed for you to mix it down listen to what you got and then go right into mastering sort of like on the task cam where i mix down and it prints a copy of my mix and then i can hit uh shift and uh i forget the button but shift and and like direct or something like that and then i can go ahead and use the multi-band compressor and finish my master well this one is designed the same way you're except for you're not printing the mix first and going back and doing it you're going to listen to what you've gotten in your room on your headset however you're going to do it you're going to listen to what you've gotten and then you're going to go in here i'm going to do it again shift and mix down and you're going to hit value knob and you're going to switch on that that multi-band compressor and then you're going to start tackling the items in here low mid i think it's high yeah low mid and high all right then you're going to exit there once you've gotten that the way you want it you're going to exit there and you have more things that you can work on you can overall eq and tune your thing uh, tune and eq your song not your thing but your song you switch it on and then you start tackling these bands well the gain the freak you know the Q and all of that you got five bands here to work with so you're going to go ahead and do that on the task cam it's only three bands and it's all in the same box just like this and then you're going to come out of there after you've done that you're going to grab your limiter this is where you're going to lose your mind and make everything hot real hot you're going to but you're going to pay attention to how hot you're making it <laughs> so that you don't make it nasty but you're going to handle these things right once you handle your limiter then you come out again and you set up your fade out excuse me i have a video that i did on fade out a live video i'm going to do an actual video on it so that it'll be in the live section it'll be in the video section all right so once you have taken care of the other properties in here then you're going to go to your fade out i have a video tell you i have a video on a live video on this explaining the best practice that i have uh for this and once you use that you can just you know play with it like you want um you know the mixing and mastering and all of this stuff is creative so i'm just giving you a here this is what works for me um if it works for you great and if you expand on it make a video so that i'll learn something from you all right but that's your fade you set up your fade time and all of that stuff. And, and then once you're finished, you're going to mix it down. All right. And you don't even have to hit shift or anything. You're going to hit mix down. You've done all your mastering stuff. You now you're just going to print it basically. And mix down for them means print. It just means print it out. Instead of putting print on here, it just said mix down. You've already mixed everything down, and now you're going to take all the stuff, all of the raw resources, and you're going to print them all together and ship them out of here. Once you have shipped it out of here, take it off the card, 
take it and listen to it burn a disc i you know i don't know if people do that anymore but burn a cd um <laughs> go to your car and you know put it on your phone and and let it play put it at a nominal level if you can hear everything good and then turn it up see if it got some bump if it isn't working save let's see uh Okay, so if it isn't working, save your song, right? And make it 0.1, you know, uh, ecstasy 1.0. Save what you did and then go to the next one and redo or touch anything up that you want to touch up. That way you have the original and you have the new one, all right? So save this one as 0.1 and I mean, save this one and then make an, another one of, you know, you know what I mean, save this one and then make another one and call it XC.1. And if you have, you know, to mix it seven times, just have seven different prints and seven different saved files so that if you go through all of those mixes and then, then you find that the first one was the best one. So like with Jimi Hendrix, then, you know, just go ahead and um, do your thing. Take the first one and then copyright it take it to your BMI and publish it and then put it up on SoundCloud, Bandcamp, go to DistroKid or TuneCore, get that music out. Don't play with that. Don't keep that in your house. Don't keep that for yourself. If you're out here trying to get into the game, get into it and, and start working, all right? But once again, I'm gonna go through it again. When you are finished sequencing and creating your sections and building your song go ahead and put your finishing touches on your mixes by hitting shift and each one of these tracks there's seven tracks to go through i don't have a vocal so i i'm gonna have to come back later and, and do one on the vocal put a vocal in and and you know touch that to show you what's in the vocal but it's a little different from what's in these tracks okay um then go from each one making these decisions and you have access to level pan reverb delay eq you have access to the actual frequencies that you're going to be adding and taking away from i think once you've set those frequencies then if you feel like hitting this and just you know doing some quick you know db adjustments on the fly do it that way but i would say go this way first so that you know what frequencies you're messing with once you've done that, go ahead further down, make sure your effects are on, make sure your attack, you, you know, now you're in, make sure your effects is on either pre or post, right? And then once you have made that decision, go ahead and move on. And now you have a compressor on each one of these, on each one of these tracks, you have a compressor. The vocal is a little different. We'll go through that, but you go ahead and do that. And then you go back to your, your vocal track and you're going to be making those decisions per pad, okay? Uh, when you're in the vocal track. I don't have a vocal in the song. I'm going to put one in and then I'll come back and do it again so that you can see what I'm talking about here. Once you have done all your mixing for all of these pads, even the special stuff that you have to do on your vocal, go ahead and hit shift and mix down. All of this stuff is designed to happen before you do the print. In verse lab world, mix down means print. Okay, it means it's gonna go through just like Pro Tools, old school Pro Tools, it's gonna go through the whole song, printing it and making a wave file out of it. All right. So think of when you hear the word mix, when you see the word mix down here, that just means print the finished product. Okay you are going to add all of your mastering effects before you do mix down because you see what it did it just went full mix instruments only vocals only you know you this is just printing this is not mixing down this is not when you do all of that no you do all of that before you get to this okay you're going to do this first you're going to hit shift and mix down i'm gonna do it again shift and mix down and you're going to do all that mastering stuff after you've done all your mixing stuff you're going to do all that mastering stuff and when 
you have finished with this phase. You know, you won't even hear how the fade out works until the fade out happens. I don't know why that's the thing, but that's how it goes. Once you hit mix down again, you're going to be mixing, you're going to be printing out all of the decisions that you made to a wave file. All right. And then that will be it. And then just like I said, if you, it's $85 to copyright, so get 10 songs together. Eh. Get 10 songs together and do them fast, okay? Because $85 is a little money to, to spend. But if you just want to just go ahead and, you know, copyright one song, go ahead and copyright the one song and, and get yourself on the road to finishing and putting your stuff up. But once you have printed and you like what you heard, go ahead and copyright, publish, and get it distributed to all of the places that you can. And you can do Bandcamp by yourself. And you also can do uh, SoundCloud by yourself. If you don't like what you heard, do the other thing that I said. Shift and save. Save this one and then create another one, you know, ecstasy 1.0 i'll go ahead and do a video on that too once i'm finished with the the vocal thing and that way you have as if you didn't like the first print then you can go in and make changes on a new uh loaded in file of your song and make those changes and then print that and see if you like the next one you can do seven or eight of them and just keep printing them out until you find one that you like you find the one that you like Go ahead and get rid of the other ones. Keep the keep the uh, prints, but get rid of the uh, files and move on to the next song. All right. So that is. I hope that helps and I hope that answers the question of the mix down mastering, because I think you wanted to find out if. Yeah, that's I'm reading it. You wanted to find out if it prints out first and then you come back and master. No, you master before you print. OK. Y'all have a good one. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. I'm going to add a vocal to this. Um, I'm going to run to the store first. Then I'm going to add a vocal to this song here. And then uh, we'll go through the vocal track, and, and um, or I'll go find the vocal for this. I'll just, you know, do another song. Who knows? But I'm because I really want to show you the, the mixing of the, the vocal track so that you'll know how that goes. All right? And then... I'll go ahead and mix it. I'm not going to do a great job. I'm just going to do it so that you see it done. And that way you have a record of it. And then we can go through it. All right. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Hopefully um, I'll be back in about an hour or two to uh, do that other thing. And, and um, see you guys later. Bye-bye.